Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Everyday Racism. We have, <laughs> I don't mean to say that you're racist, Karen from Mob Wives is here. Uh, these are things that happen to people every day where we have to point out, is that racist? And figure it out. There was an incident where you had like a premiere party right. for Mob Wives at a bowling alley. At Frames. Yes. Uh -huh. And what happened? So what happened? You spotted some racism going on. Well, the night before we got an email and we were told not to have any rappers come to our event or anyone from the cast of Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> I kind of let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> they specified Love <laughs> and Hip Hop. This yes. channel. You guys yes. are on the same and that's, channel. And that's what we felt. <laughs> we're a VH1 channel. And I do have friends that are on the, that show. So um, to me, that was kind of uh, derogatory. Statement. And you this know, is from the, from the manager of the bowling manager alley. of the bowling, bowling alley. alley. Oh, okay. And then when we got <laughs> What's there, his name? Or her, her name. name was Frida. I don't remember her last name, but it was Where's she at? She's at Frames Bowling okay. Alley. Trust me. I want to go. Fox, back. Don't try to set up a murder. <laughs> yeah. No, so anyway, it gets protest. better because when I went there, she was very rude to my guests. She said there's a strict dress code, but there was she never told me about a dress code prior to going. It's a bowling alley. She was running up on people that were dressed very nice, trendy, pull your pants up, take your hat off. What? So I felt were these like people black for the most part in hispanic yes black okay. in hispanic pull your pants up yeah because they said their pants were hanging then um the guy that i'm currently <laughs> talking to when he came he was with about seven guys she told them that they couldn't hit, well the person at the door told them they couldn't get in because she didn't like the way they were dressed so that was another issue then um a part of the press a lady that's a writer for vibe magazine received an email as well the night before and they said you're more than welcome to come we will please we'll be happy to host you but do not mention the name of our venue in any one of your wow. hip-hop magazines or urban wow. websites that's to me, racist. yes that is racist racist so much. no question I have to, and i have to say you know when i saw the story i didn't realize that you had a black child and things like that so i was very pleasantly surprised to see Right. Someone off the cast of Mob Wives taking such a stand right. on an issue like this. That's I a like blatant racism. Spotting it is. racism. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought it was. She said it was about dress code, and my guests weren't dressed properly. But she can't explain why she sent two emails the night before. How do you tell a news reporter you can come, but you can't cover? You can't say the name of our venue in any hip hop. That's not our demographics. I have the email. That was her exact wow. words. That's not our demographics. Wow. So did you guys still have the party there? Well, I didn't know that. I didn't Until even know. It all came Until together after. Th the, yeah, the day after. And, you know, it was just... Then she said we didn't tip them. Hell no, I would never tip her. Like, absolutely not. Well, of course deserve not. A tip she after that. Now, okay, Fox, she deserves a tip after that. Fox, article. you said earlier that we're going to protest. So what is the plan of attack? Yes. What we're going to do is we're all going to go over there. All right. Where, and we're going to wear friends? whatever the hell we want to wear. Mm -hmm. And we're going to demand to go bowling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're at a bowling alley. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can do that. I don't Why know if you not? Can demand to get into a business. I think they well, have discretion. If it's a bowling alley, yeah, but I think they bowl. can. Where it's I think pretty they casual. Right. I think they have the right to. So you're on the side they, of them. Is what you're I'm saying. not on the side so of them, you, but they have. They, they, they their, have a dress code, and I understand the dress code. And listen, at the end of the day, if yeah, it the was dress just code's about no black skin. Yeah. Exactly. That's what the dress yeah, you code can't take is. Take off the black ass skin. Right. Can't take it that was off. about the emails the night before. Like, how do you send those emails and then expect us to come there and have a party? And you can tell us that we can't be covered in the urban market. I have a child. I'm I'm part of the urban market. I've been in the tunnel for years. This is something that I I nobody can tell me what magazine to put you know advertise in so yeah i found that very racist very offensive and listen i tried to conduct myself like a lady i really wanted to hit her in the head with a bowling ball you didn't do anything though. did do you anything. curse at her she, yes i did you curse, curse at her. but you didn't she's swim. still alive yeah she's not sleeping with the fishes okay <laughs> all right good glad all's well that ends well